So the war for Poland has just begun. The Nazis had a three-turn head start, and over the break, we just declared our war. I talked about in the first video how crucial it is right now for us to take as many cities as possible. Essentially, if we take enough cities, um, they will act as kind of a buffer zone when the Nazis do declare war on us. I don't think it's going to be possible for us to stop the AI, the German AI, when they declare war on us from taking a few cities. I think that when they do eventually declare their war, uh, they're going to take cities no matter what, no matter what I do. And it's it's going to suck. But if I take a lot of Polish cities, they will act as, as kind of a kind of meat shields in a sense, but they're not really meat shields, city shields uh, from our main sort of production cities. I don't want them to, you know, capture some of our very essential, um, you know, production cities in our empire. So Kiev is, is one big one. Uh, Kiev has the ability to, to build us things pretty fast. I don't want them to capture that. Very important that they don't. So uh, we need to keep that in mind. Anyways, so the war for Poland has just begun. We need to begin to attack right away. And uh, let me use let me use my better tank unit here. Um, and it, it's yeah, we're we're gonna get a penalty for attacking cities. It might be better to uh, push this guy up forward. Actually, well, I'd rather flank with the infantry. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put him here. The city's gonna be tough to take now that I think about it. <laughs> now now I realize it. Oh, I can still I can still attack though. So that's fantastic. And boom, there we go. Okay. So we're just going to have to grind away. Again, like I said in the last video, I mean, you these it's hard to kill units. Um, and it's, your own units don't take very much damage. It is very much about and what kind of what World War II was about. It's it's all about material. It's all about resources. It was a it was a it was a war for resources. Uh, and that is kind of the the really awesome thing about this mod is that it is. It's you know, that's the way the uh, I guess the scenario is built is that it is a war for resources. So when the other, when your opponent starts to run out of material or personnel, that is when you have them cornered. Because uh, then they can't reinforce, then they can't, you know, build anything. So we need to keep that in mind. Okay, so luckily I do have uh, units nearby for this city. So we should be able to do a good amount of damage. Uh, and I'm going to try to move forward. Oh, boom, we can move around. But we'd be attacking across the river. No, we wouldn't. Why would we not be getting a river crossing penalty here? That's strange. Oh, oh, I, I did, I believe. It just wasn't calculating it. I, I think. I'm not sure. Um, and that is right. So we can also place units behind other units, uh, depending on what it is. I believe it's only howitzer guns. Uh, I completely forgot about that mechanic. Uh, another cool thing that I like a lot about, about this is that you capture enemy tiles uh, on the front. So, like, I mean, you're... you're ooh. What is... Oh, I didn't realize Poland had a... Had had a navy. That's surprising. Well, I hope they don't attack me. At first, I was going to say Japan. I was like, ooh, Japan is in this mod. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering this, so I, I realized that... Um, so a few... I don't know, really know when it was. Maybe a year ago, there was mul multiple scenarios uh, included in this sort of, uh, you know, Red World War mod pack. Now there's only two. There's this, and then there's the battle for Stalingrad or Stalingrad, or Stalingrad, something like that. And uh, they eliminated, uh, or the mod maker eliminated some of the, the bigger stuff, like the Pacific War, as well as uh, pretty much essentially the same European map, but with the Americans uh, across the Atlantic. And uh, it was, I, I, I guess he's, he's working on it still. So we might revisit it with that sort of, uh, that new scenario. We might re revisit this scenario in the future with that scenario, but... Just, you know, when I know because people are curious, like, why I didn't include America, uh, that scenario is no longer a part of the, of the mod anymore. Uh, so maybe in the future I will when I guess uh, the bug fixes have been completed for the new version. I guess version 44 might have thrown everything out of sync or something like that. I, I'm not sure. But uh, either way. So, uh, yeah, we need to attack this city, and we will probably capture it now. My howitzer is doing quite a bit of damage, so we need to make sure that we attack with that first before anything else. We're going to want to build more of those. Too bad I can't build more of those just yet. Um, and it's going to be kind of a slow grind to take away this city. Now, what I could do is move on. Oh, can I attack again? Oh, okay. I was just wondering. Um, actually, you know what I should do is either back up, move to the next city. I think I'll move to the next city for sure, but uh, I'm going to attack with this guy now. Bam. There we go. How are we doing with material? We're doing good. We're at our we're almost at our maximum. 
We're doing okay. Okay, and you're going to stay there. Uh, oh, good. The Germans are helping me out over here. Okay, so this is a little bit scary, though. I really didn't anticipate. I didn't think this far ahead. I didn't realize that the Germans were pretty much going to control the Baltic Sea. So I might not be able to escape. Well, actually, you know what? I can hide behind um, this lake uh, just north of uh, Leningrad. So I think that's what I'll do when that war does end up popping up. And how are we doing here? Okay, that's my big ship. He's taking forever to get over this way. Okay, how, how are the Germans? The Germans, it looks like they've only taken away one, no, two Polish cities so far. Uh, they're attacking Warsaw. I figured I wouldn't be able to capture Warsaw myself. You know, it sucks, but, um, well, maybe. There, I might be able to. I mean, they haven't, they haven't even done any damage to it just yet. I'm sure most of, I don't know. I mean, who knows how much the AI is uh, worried about their French front. It really depends, I guess. Uh, that, then that is going to be very interesting to see exactly how this sort of modded AI functions when fi fighting these two different fronts along with Poland and, and France. I imagine that they're going to focus on the Polish front. They're going to make a lot of progress in the Polish front uh, and then eventually turn their sights towards uh, the French here. And that's when they'll do most of their damage. Trade route has been established. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay. Entering war in five turns with Finland. So my navy will be in place. The problem is that uh, I'm more invested in the Polish war right now. Um, the war against Finland might just be a defensive war. We only stay at war with Finland for about 10 or 11 turns, I think. So we would have to defend ourselves for about 10 or 11 turns. Okay, so I need to try to, uh, you know, get this howitzer. Hmm. I don't really want to attack with the tanks. Maybe I will attempt to get a little bit closer. Well, I can't move through German territory at the moment. But I might try to get a little bit closer to Warsaw, so I might be able to sneak in and grab the Polish capital away from them. Mm, and we're just gonna have to slowly grind away here. But I can—I don't mind. This city can take—we could take all day at capturing this city. I, I don't—I don't care about that. Um, I care about grabbing things along the front. You know, maybe we should just rush in for these two cities. That way, we block off the Germans. Yeah, because this is Slovakia. This is not Germany. So we could, if we could capture these two cities, then we can take our time capturing everything else, I think. I, I believe there might be a... No, no, Poland has to be destroyed. Uh, I don't think the mod will force you to peace out like the mod forces you to peace out Finland uh, as the Soviets. So we need an administrative building to, uh, to occupy cities with a broadcast tower as well. We need broadcast towers to be able to actually like reinforce... Um, and reinforcement process is in occupied cities. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. So we're going to have to wait. I'm going to work wealth for now. And then I'm going to move my infantry units in slowly but surely. I mean, I I guess we'll start to attack this city. And bam, there we go. So we, we can actually go quite fast. I'm surprised. And you just stay there. And you hopefully will get there before the start of the war. You know, you're, you're, you're going to stay there too. I'm going to try to attempt to take Helsinki. Uh, that's probably not going to happen though. It's very, very unlikely. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's up. You never know. The problem is that this city is in the way. I could always embark my units and maybe send like a, an infantry unit or an howitzer to try to walk into the city, but... Uh, yeah, because you do need, I believe, infantry units. You can't take cities. You can't take coastal cities with, uh, with ships, which I believe. And remember, I, I played this scenario, you know, the last time I played this scenario was a lot longer ago. There weren't as many. There, there, there's been a lot of changes since the last time I've, uh, I've revisited this. So there's some, some things I'm still kind of uh, surprised about slightly. Okay, well, so far this is, this is going really good. Uh, I wasn't expecting us to to make this much of a push inside for Poland so that's nice Warsaw is beginning to to be attacked we've got a few promotions which is great ah the infantry have just been finished in a couple of my cities um I think I'd like to give open terrain for now there is a lot of open terrain around in this location and you know what I am not going to even send these guys to the Polish front they're going to the Finnish front and I'm going to send them to these two cities and we will await their arrival. Okay. Now, I believe we can... I think we can take the city over right now. We'll attack with the howitzer. We'll attack with the tanks. 
Ugh, these tanks are just not very good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about Warsaw right now because I, I think that it's it's you know it still has its full health. So I'm not I'm not super worried about it. I'm just worried about taking the city over right now. Bam! There we go. Cool. I also love that there's no happiness happiness mechanic. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, jeez. I forget how much like I really don't really like that mechanic in, in traditional Civ Five. There we go. Bam. All right. So another city has fallen to us. Good. So now we can head back down south and uh, and focus on the siege of Warsaw, the race for Warsaw. Um, I've built a few military academies already, or I've began production of a few military academies. I'd rather uh, boost the amount of material I can stockpile. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take me 15 turns, but let's let's do it. Uh, I need to keep in mind that that is Kiev. That is a kind of border city. Um, we're going to need to watch that. Military base. This is going to give us, wow, a lot more. 1,000 material can be stocked. Uh, 500 personnel. 15 experience for all units. City must have a barracks. Um, I think we're doing fine with oil. I mean, I can't even build tanks right now, so yeah. I think a military academy for now. Let's play it safe in Moscow since that's that's my capital. Uh, you know, we should be scouting the area for um, a fin Finnish fleet in the Baltic. I, I, have no idea. I have no idea. In the Baltic Sea, I mean. I don't know. I didn't see anything over here. We saw the Germans did. The Germans definitely have something. Uh, and I believe they're going to force us to, to declare the war uh, after this turn. So let's just hope that the uh, the British, well, more, mainly the British. I'm going to be rooting for the British c quite heavily here when the Nazis attack us. Uh, I know that everyone, all the Allied powers, start off in a very, very tough spot in the beginning here. Um, we are in a difficult situation where we really don't have, no one really has the military uh, at the moment to be able to compete with Nazi Germany, just like in, you know, the real world. So everyone's kind of rebuilding. That's why France usually tends to fall. Um, the British will take time, but the British will get really strong. Uh, by, you know, 1943, 44, 45, uh, they really start to build these massive fleets, and uh, they, they might be able, be able to potentially make a landing, you know, taking back some of these, you know, like Normandy, stuff like that. So they, they might be able to take some things back. I just hope at that point we're able to I, well, first of all, I, I'm hoping that we'll be able to stop the Nazi offensive push into our territory. Not only stop, but, you know, just do it ourselves. Uh, but I will be rooting for the British, obviously, in the in the West. I'm so, Yeah, in the West to hopefully help us as much as they can. Okay, so this is going to be tough, but let's just, first of all, make sure that no one has, that the Germans don't get any closer. So we have two Polish planes. Not sure if these are fighters or not. Looks like yeah, they are fighters. I've got a fat. They've got a fast bomber, forty combat strength, and then a fighter at thirty combat strength. Um, since this is a tank, I might as well lock down this tile for our sake. Um, let's pull the howitzer close, and uh, I think I might take a turn off before I attack Warsaw. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Germany is going to be preoccupied with attacking the uh, fortified unit here. Also, because this unit is oh, actually, I don't think so. There is a supply line sort of thing, so if a unit gets too far into an, you know enemy territory and it's like locked off, if it'll just die. You could just kill a unit if you find it in the right spot. Um, yeah, you know, I think I'll, I feel safe attacking just once. I, I don't think I feel like that's too big of a risk. Um, let's pull the infantry here so that we can put that instead of the tank unit. I'd like to pull my other tank unit over this way, but I guess we can't. Let's go up this way and just to kind of get a better vision over what's going on. Hmm. No, nothing else. Yeah, I'm going to try to get as much vision as possible. We need more drill infantry. I, I gave everyone shock that I sent up towards Finland, which probably wasn't a, a good idea now that I think about it in hindsight because there's a lot of rough terrain, a lot of forest around, but still a lot of open terrain at the same time. What is this? Trade routes have been connected. Okay, good. Um... I think we should... Oh, we've got a few projects we can build. Nice. Okay, so what do we want to be able to build? Um, these are unique Soviet units. Right now, we can only build infantry. So do we want to work on an air force? That This is another really cool thing, I, I think. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what this is. BM-13. 
uh, it gives them a bonus against infantry units. I'm not super worried about infantry units. I'm, I'm looking, you know, anti tanks would be really smart to build against Germany because Germany has just a massive force of tanks that they'll send us uh, send at us. Cruiser tanks, also known as cavalry tanks, are very fast moving tanks that can take advantage of uh, gaps in enemy fo- uh, fronts in the enemy front to cut its supply lines. Light armed, yeah, I like those, and that'll only take eleven turns. So I think I think that's what we'll do. Battleships, no. Don't care about that. Uh, or we could build more howitzers, assault guns. But no, definitely we need tanks of our own. Which hopefully we have the material to be able to, 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 to keep up those that tank army. Okay, so I will not attack. No, that's not a good idea. Like I said, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a wait. We're going to wait for a second. I'm going to give you open terrain too. I do feel safe somewhat with open terrain. No workers, so these forest tiles will not be going anywhere. The you know the way the the way of the land will not be changing throughout the campaign like a traditional Civ Five game is. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be mil- building mostly wealth. Uh, well, you have thirty four turns is not as bad as some of these other cities, so let's go with that. How you doing, France? How you doing, buddy? Everything okay? <laughs> I know technically we you know are really kind of just brought together with the the Western allies because of a mutual enemy. So I guess I shouldn't be kind of rooting for France or anything like that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so luckily uh, we didn't attack Warsaw anymore. I hope that we're going to be able to take over this city now. Uh, Mayor Poland is, is under technically a city-state. So we'll see, you know, who they decide to attack. Hopefully it's not us. Oh, man, that is scary. I'm very happy that they can't... Uh... Oh, good, they took a little bit of damage. By, by attacking. Well, wh- that was probably not the city, though. That was probably the um, units here stationed in Warsaw. So we need to be careful. Um, I need to make sure that my infantry units can attack. I believe that if I back up, they will be able to. Well, I guess I could switch spots. I need to be careful. I might be flanked here. And we can attack here. The howitzer should be able to do enough damage. And now we can walk in with their infantry. Very nice. All right. All right. That was good. Very, very happy. Now we need to move down south as fast as possible. The, pro- the problem is that uh, most of Poland has, or they have military units along our front instead of the German front. Again, if we could just cut them off, then we could take our time with this city, uh, which I guess doesn't really matter essentially, but we're going to skip over that for now. Um, we're going to want to move units down south. I moved them up north, I guess, to get better vision, but you know what? That probably wasn't a very smart idea. Uh, you stay on top of the hill for now. I'm not ready to engage just yet. I'd like to wait. Maybe let the Germans do most of the the destroying of the Polish military. I'd rather not. Um, let's see, where are you located? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I feel somewhat safe along these lines. You know what? It's going to take you 32 turns. Go ahead and build me an infantry unit. Instead of building more wealth, that's fine. And uh, I think that is going to be it for this video. Also, when is the finish war? Did it start up yet? Not yet. Uh, but I think it's going to start maybe next turn. We'll see. We're, we're ready to go, though. We are ready to go. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. Major victory here taking Warsaw before the Nazis have. So that's obviously a pretty good start to the campaign so far. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.